fifth grade, lesson 28, and this is on measuring time, okay? So a few things we're going to talk about before I even teach on this lesson, okay? But let me just kind of review some things, okay? And I'm just going to read this just because it's easier um, for me to be able to explain everything, okay? A day is the length of time that it takes the earth to spin around on its axis one time. So if the earth has an axis and the earth is on it, for it to spin around one time, that's a whole day. Do you know how much, how many hours are in a whole day? 24, very good, okay? And so there's 24 equal parts um, hours, that, that's what we call them, okay? And an hour is broken up into how many minutes? 60. 60, okay? And 60, okay, every minute is broken into how many seconds? 60? Yeah, 60. So it's kind of funny just to realize that, 60 and 60, okay? Now, then what is a year? We learned how much a day is. It's when the earth turns one time around, complete turn. That's one day, okay? But what is one year, all right? Now, here's what one year is, okay? Now, imagine the earth is spinning on its axis, okay? And then the earth also moves around a journey around the sun. So let's pretend this is the sun, okay? And this is the earth, my finger, okay? What? Yeah, okay. So this is the sun, this little ball, I'll just make a ball. This ball is the sun, and this is the earth, my hand, okay? Now here's what's going to happen every day all year round, okay? So in one day, what does the earth do? It spins around one whole time, which I can't spin my whole hand around, okay? But just pretend with me. Here's the sun. It stays still. And the earth spins one time around. That's why you get light on one side, and then as it spins throughout the day, what happens? It gets dark. So it's nighttime now on this side. You see? So it's spinning, but guess what? After it's made one spin, it keeps moving this way as it's spinning all the way around. And so let's say if this was our starting point, it's gonna spin one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, keep spinning, 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 all the way back to where it started, one year. Get it? Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? So the earth spins, but then it also makes one huge spin or turn all the way around. But as it's going around the sun one whole time, what's it doing every day? Spinning at least once or one time each day. It's a whole spin. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then if you go from here, Eli, all the way around back to where you started, one year. Isn't that cool? And that equals out 365 days. Okay, now, their one year will have 366 days. Do you know why? Because it actually goes around just a little bit more. And so what do they do with that little bit of more gap? They add one more day every four years mm -hmm. to add for that extra little bit that goes on. Okay, so that's why they do that. Okay, and that's called a leap year when they have 366 days in the year. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, um, a year is divided into how many months? Um, Twelve. Twelve, very good. Okay, and then every month, there are about 30 days. Now, 31. there's 31 in, in um, most of the day, or in most of the months. I'm trying to think how many. Uh, four months have 30 days, okay? And so then that makes seven of them have 31 days. Then there's one more month. And do you know which month that is? It's February. February only has 28 days. Okay? Mm -hmm. So um, four of the months have 30 days. Seven of the months have 31 days. And one month has 28 days. Okay? <laughs> kind of weird how they do it all. Okay? But... On leap year, guess what happens to month February? What? It gets 29 days because they had to have one more day for that 366 days in that year. So one day every four years 
is there February 29th? <laughs> Could you imagine if you're born on February 29th? Then when you're four years old, you're really only one. Because <laughs> your birthday came. You get it? That would be confusing. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? But you're really not. You're really four years old. But because your birthday celebrated on that day, it only comes every four years. It's kind of funny. So most time people celebrate on March 1st if their birthday is on the 29th. You get it? Yeah. Okay. Now, now that we've talked about all that, okay, do you know what a decade is? A uh, hundred years? Almost. Ten years. Ten. Very good. And do you know what a century is? hundred years. Very good. And the way I remember cent is how many cents does it equal a dollar? hundred. hundred pennies. Okay? So century helps me remember that that's the one hundred one. Uh -huh. Okay? So decade, I don't really have an easy way to remember that. Okay? But it equals ten. Ten years equals a decade. Decade. One hundred years equals a century. Okay. Now, do you know what a millennium is? No. Kind of a weird word. Millennium. Okay. Well, if you know anything about milla, it's million. Milla. Okay. Milla. We'll learn about milla second. Milla. Milla meter. Milla. All those different things. It actually means a thousand. <laughs> years. Okay? Millennium. I think I spelled that wrong. I did. Maybe right here. Millennium. Okay? Equals a thousand years. Okay? And if you already knew about the mill, millisecond, millimeter, mill, all those things, you would know that it equals a thousand. But you'll learn that as you do math later on. Okay? So, what does a century equal? Hundred. Uh-huh. What does a decade equal? Ten. And what does a milla, millennium equal? Thousand. Very good. Okay. Now, I want you to look at the calendar that's on the wall and tell me what day is February 15th, 2015. Um, that would be Sunday. Very good. Okay. And so you've learned how to read calendar, and that was very good. You did that just right. Okay. Now, let's learn how to read time on a clock. So I'm going to draw a clock up here. And we're just going to review a few things because we haven't done this in a long time. Okay? Do you remember what number is written at the very top of a clock? 12. 12 is. Very good. Do you remember what's at the bottom? 6. Very good. Do you remember what's here? 3. Uh-huh. And it's going to be 9. That was the hardest to remember. Okay? Now, so what that means is I have to have two more right here. So 1, 2, 4, Five, seven, eight, ten, and eleven. Okay? Got that? Mm -hmm. So it's always good to write the first ones that you know to be able to do the rest of it, okay? Now, do you remember what the shorthand points at? Remember there's the a hour? It short points on the hour. Okay? So let's say it's pointing here, okay? And then the long hand points at the minutes. Now, this is very important. I wouldn't say it's 9-1, okay? How much does each minute, rep how much is a minutes are represented by each time you go one, one, two, three? Well, how you figure that out is we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour, right? Mm -hmm. 60 minutes in an hour? Okay, so what that means is, watch this, okay? This is going to have five ticks, I guess you would call them. Okay. Five. And then I'm not quite getting all these right. Just one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So each time, Eli, five minutes is in each section. So if we were to go from 12 to one, that would be five minutes. From 1 to 2 would be 5 minutes. So from 12 to 2 would be 10 minutes. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. So this is 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So each time it's 5 minutes. Remember that. Now, let's go back to what I was teaching you. 
Okay? And I said that it was pointed at the 9, and then this was... Okay, as I was saying, um, let's say the 9 or the hour hand was pointed here at 9. And so if I pointed the minute hand right here, remember I was telling you that each time we move to the next number, it's five, uh, it's five more minutes. So if we went nine, that's the hour, how many minutes is it past? It is five minutes past because this at the 12 is always zero. So this would be zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55, okay? And so even though you just see these numbers, these numbers represent these minutes, okay? Now, sometimes most clocks will not have that. I wouldn't say most, but some clocks will not show you the minutes. They sometimes may put it underneath, okay? But you need to know that each time you go to a different number, it's five more. Okay, now, there's something else I want to teach you. So this is 9.05, like that. Okay, there's one last thing I want to teach you. Okay, and this is um, something that's kind of important for you to know. Because as you get older, people will start using a language like, it's a quarter after 9 o'clock. It's a quarter after 4 o'clock. Okay, and so I want you to be able to understand what that means. Okay, and so what you're going to do is um, because um, a clock can be broken up into four quarters, and I want to show you how, okay? So I'm just going to draw a line right here, okay? If we're working with a dollar, it can be broken up into four quarters, 25 cents for each um, part. So there's four quarters in a dollar. In a clock, there are four quarters. But instead of a um, hundred, like a dollar has, a hundred cents, a clock only has 60 minutes. So each quarter is 15 minutes. As you can see, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, okay? So this one little section is a quarter um, of amount of time with a clock. So 15 minutes is a quarter past something. So if I were to tell you, it's a quarter after nine. What I'm saying is you start always at zero, zero minutes. And if I say it's a quarter after, I'm just going one quarter of a length past that. So if it's nine o'clock as the hour, okay, I'm pointing my shorthand, where will my long hand be? Well, right now it says it's nine o'clock. But if I told you it was a quarter past nine, I'm saying that it's a quarter past nine, which means that it is 9.15. Okay, let's try another one, okay? If I told you it was a quarter past mm, two, okay? So it's two o'clock, but it's not just two o'clock, okay? Two as the hour, zero, zero as the minutes. It's not just two o'clock, it's a quarter past two. So no longer is the hand here, it is now here because it's one quarter past two o'clock. So it would be 2.15. Got it? Okay, now sometimes you will hear this. So far you've learned it is a quarter past such and such, two o'clock. It's quarter past two, which really means 2.15, okay? But now I want you to learn this. It's a quarter till three, okay? It's a quarter till three. Now, what is that actually saying? A quarter till three. Well, let's show three o'clock, first of all. Okay, three o'clock would be like this. Okay, that's my hour hand. Okay, and then there's my minute. So right now, this is three o'clock. My hour hand, my minute hand, okay? But it has not reached three yet. It's a quarter till three. So that means it's two something, okay? And so if it's three o'clock with my minute hand pointing straight, a quarter till would be here at the 45 because it's one quarter until three o'clock. So it would actually be 2.45, you see? So if it was three o'clock, my minute hand would be here and here, 
But since it's a quarter until three, till it turns three o'clock, then my hand ends up going here and it's not yet three yet, it's still two, okay? So this would be my hour hand, it's two something, okay? And it's 2.45 because it's a quarter until it reaches three, okay? So the answer to that, what's a quarter till three? 2.45. All right, and that's lesson 28.